Hi, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here and you like the content, please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell and that'll allow you to see videos as I post them. This is a little different than what I'm used to doing. Um, I usually show wrestling videos from my mat at my house, uh, but <clears throat> somebody asked me to comment on Nikki Ryan's wrestling. Here's Nikki Ryan here if you don't know who he is. He's a very high level Brazilian Jiu Jitsu competitor, um, very high level. And his brother is also, you know, like the best that's ever been essentially in no gi grappling. And um, I watched the promo for when Nikki actually fought Tony Ramos. And then I watched the fight too. And Nikki had commented on how he has been wrestling lately and how he was going to use his wrestling against Tony Ramos. And at that time, I thought, you got to be kidding me because Tony Ramos is a NCAA champion and world team member. Um, I think Nikki was trying to rile him up. <clears throat> but at that point, I mean, I thought, well, he either is very confident in his wrestling or he's just crazy <laughs> or he's trying to rile up Ray Ramos, which is what I think he was trying to do because he just sat down, pulled guard and leg locked him in like 30 seconds and it was over. Uh, Ramos walked right into it. Kids amazing on the ground. OK, so jujitsu is a ground fighting game. But I think there's a lot of pressure nowadays to have people fight from a standing position. And really, I think that's because um, of the pressure from the martial arts and self-defense side of things to bring the fight to the ground. Okay. But so <clears throat> having been a collegiate wrestler myself and been in this sport for 31 years and coached many high level athletes, I want to just go through this and comment on his position. Okay. It has nothing to do with his athleticism, but whether or not I do think that his wrestling is on par with anything that would work high level, high school or collegiate. Okay. So right off the bat, I already see a problem here. Um, <clears throat> actually, that was perfect right there. See how when he goes for the underhook, how he pulls his head super far away. Um, this is like super no-no, you know, with our only six seconds in, um, <clears throat> he's already way out of position. And this guy could use the overhook for an inside trip. Um, if, if Ryan was pushing, he could use it for um, a fireman's carry, which is the only time you really should try a fireman's carry is when they're pushing when their head's on the other side of the underhook. Okay, so this isn't really even an underhook here because uh, they're kind of in an over under position, which he created by giving it to him. His head should be on the same side here. There's no power left in here. There's nothing. This underhook means nothing. He could just put his hand inside the chest here, back away, and it'd be over or inside trip him. It's actually what he tries. Okay. It's not bad there. It's not a bad little <clears throat> movement. Okay, there I already saw something else. Um, let's back it up just a little. See that? See that pawing, that cat pawing of the head with his same, he's got his same leg forward. This guy just has to post the elbow. He's also, he does this, I, I noticed uh, he leans a lot to one side, which opens up this whole side of his body. That's something that I would want to, if I was his coach would want to get rid of right away because he's, he's essentially saying, take this whole side of my body. And there's no defense here because his hand is above and see how it's all open here. It's not the best angle. So maybe he'll do it again. There he goes. Oh my God. Yeah. See, there it is again. Um, look at that. I mean, actually this guy is posting, but he's not posting behind the tricep like he should. If so, he would just take this hand. So his, his right hand, right on the inside of his knee here and just knee pull it, put his head right into the ribs. So level change knee, um, knee pull head in the ribs and there'd be nothing he could do to stop it. A lot of reaching. Oh my God. Yeah. So, okay. Wow. Yeah. So a lot of out of body position reaching like that's, that's just really bad. Um, it's just not good position. And then he got, what is that? So he did that twice there. Okay, so he does this backing up thing. I don't know if I can catch it. Okay. He does these fakes. The, the fakes aren't really gonna do anything. Um, I can go back and show that because he... Sorry, but I just wanna see if I can catch that while he's doing this. Okay, so yeah, right. 
when he does it, he's pulling his. So when he does these fakes, he pulls his elbows way back. And that one's not as bad, um, but his he put, takes his hands away from his body. And that's a no-no too, because your hands are your first line of defense. So I show that in my first video where your hands are the first line of defense. And if you pull your elbows back, when you drop your head down, then you don't really essentially have any defense anymore. So I, there he's reaching with the proper leg. All right, so that leg is forward. He is reaching with the proper hand, but look at how open that is. It's like he wants this guy to just shoot so that he can front headlock him, which may be the case actually, <laughs> um, because you know he's good at jujitsu. So if he can turn it into a jujitsu match, I don't know what their rules are here, right? I don't know like how much they're wrestling or practicing wrestling or whatever but he is technically in that case reaching with the right leg that's not bad that's a good little exchange there but let me just go back to that for a second so um when you reach for somebody if this leg is forward then you should reach with the opposite arm which is what he was doing there earlier he was reaching with the same arm same leg that's pretty decent movement there. Oh, see there. Oh, I caught it right when I, okay. I meant to pause and go backwards. Look at that. If you don't see anything wrong with this man, like this right here, if this guy even were to just drop his level, he would have to do so much body correction to fix that. <clears throat> he would just wear him out because his arms are completely out of the equation. Now his hands are not out in front of him. That's, when I, when I went to college, you know, and all of us were high level wrestlers, you know, we're all division one wrestlers. I remember the first thing our coach did was say, everybody get into their wrestling stance. And then he was like, you guys all suck. And it was because he wanted our, you know, elbows tucked in and our hands out in front of us. And most of us did that, but it, there was some stuff with the feet that you can't see here. Like toes should be pointing forward, like a sprinter, all of these sorts of things. But the thing is, is that your, your stance can always be corrected. This is not a wrestling stance. Sorry. Okay. This is not division one wrestling. This isn't um, any kind of wrestling that could be used against a division one wrestler. This is just a snap down waiting to happen or just a straight drop and penetrate right through. And he does enough of those movements that I'm already starting to see within just the 43 seconds that we've been watching this year that are very predictable um, with him dropping his head there. He reached it a big reach again. He did the reach up before. Not bad. That's not bad. I think his ability to actually shoot is fine. I think what he's lacking, um, because that was actually a pretty, that's actually like not bad, you know, movement. Um, yeah, I mean, that's not bad. His head's actually up and stuff. So he's, he's obviously a very good athlete. I think his biggest problem is his, his setups and his stance from what I see. That's a nice little shot. The problem is, is that his head's out of position. So he wants his head in the chest here. I don't know how good this guy is. It doesn't seem like he is, or else he'd be giving him a lot more trouble than he is. He's going to probably lose this right because his foot is already on the outside. And it's because he didn't pinch it with his legs, which he could still do to correct it. But see his head so far out of position and his back is so rounded that he's sort of carrying the weight right here. And then it's going to make this guy's leg light. Right. So in order to do it, he needs to sort of uh, get his hands locked behind the knee and lock the shoulder and put his head in the chest or not really in the chest. Cause in I, one of the defenses that I just showed from my last video, I'll post the link. Um, uh, if your head is up too high, it's easy to get my chin up underneath it essentially. Um, but either way, it'd be better than nothing. I mean, he's, he's sideways across his body and he needs to be sort of his forehead needs to be in the ribs or else he's going to lose it. He did. And also that's sort of a, not having a shoe. It's, so that, see, that's actually not very bad mechanics. You know, I, I would actually love to coach this kid, to be honest with you. Watch this, like, little shot here. It's not bad. It's just that there's no setup. There's no posting. There's no getting the hands out of the way. I will tell you this. This guy's arm is caught, so I think it, it's it's probably okay. Um, but coming up to the waist like this, I, I actually have several videos where I talk about this. This is just such a no-no because if this guy is any good and he limps this arm out, this becomes the nastiest headlock ever as he's walking around. So like right when he was coming around, if I can pause it, right, like, ah, I'll never get it. Um, 
<laughs> right there, that would have been the nastiest headlock, like headlock city. Uh, his arm is trapped though. So he, he, he never got a chance to do it. That's the only time that it's okay to do this really. Um, but generally speaking, stay low because like the most powerful part on a human body, a human being is between the knees and the waist here. And so he's by coming up high, he's allowing that guy's legs to still be in the game. So it had been better off like at a high level guy, if he had started to turn the corner uh, there, if he um, was able to, Stay. See how he was sort of already low. If he had stayed low there, then he would have been fine. So, in in wrestling, they kind of if you're a wrestler and you're watching this and you're wondering why he didn't lift him and take him to the mat. I mean, the rule sets are different. You know, in wrestling, you actually haven't scored here. The problem with this would be that if this guy stands up, then the ref will stop it and say potentially dangerous, but. This is fine, you know, for jujitsu because he doesn't care if this guy rolls and he goes to his back. And then it, basically, I'm sure that this guy's like, oh, God, please don't let this guy bring me to the mat because as soon as they hit the mat, uh, danger is going to happen because this kid's tough as hell. But you see how he's actually staying behind the elbows there. That's something I fundamentally teach in wrestling that's really like really, really important is to stay under the arms because that's what's anchoring him to him. Like it's like his legs here, you know, if his arm wasn't behind the arm there, it's not going to keep him attached. He'll just fall off. And in wrestling, that's a huge problem, right? Because you just gave up like a reversal. But I mean, this guy's like glue on you once he gets on. And this is actually how we were taught when I was in college wrestling to, to wrestle um, with legs in was not both legs, but one leg in, and then the other one crossed over here. That's like perfect position for leg riding and wrestling and underneath both arms, he's allowed to lock hands in jujitsu. You can't in folk style wrestling, but, um, but yeah, I mean, what can you say? I mean, this kid, once you get, once he gets on top of you and now he's going for a power half, which is the appropriate thing to do. Now it looks like they're going to do jujitsu. And obviously I will not be commenting on this guy's jujitsu because he's like the best in the world. <laughs> so that would be foolish of me. It looks like they're going to go back into another wrestling exchange here. I'm trying to be more in like theater mode because I feel like that was better for the, that if you're wondering why I'm doing that, because I don't want it to be choppy. Okay. See some wrestling here. Okay, good. So, okay, they're gonna reset. So, if you're curious, by the way, if you're a wrestler and you're looking at this and you're like, "Man, this looks awkward," it's because it's wrong. Okay, this leg should not be up. It should be the other one. So he has no post on this side now. So if if Ryan uh, used this overhook like as a wizard and then kicked this leg up into his, because it's already on the inside, he could then take his uh, Ryan's left arm on his far tricep and slam this guy right to his side. And there'd be nothing he could do about it because his leg is not his real post. The one he should have out should be over there. And instead it's this inside one. And when I was in college, we actually used to do a lot of drills like this when the guy would step up. Um, even after he would come to both feet, we would kick out this inside leg. So it, it does work, but he's just going to let him have it. And it's kind of easy to get out without a shoe on, that's for sure. Oh, my God, yeah, bad reaching. So here we go again. Reaching, reaching. See how open this is? See how that front leg is straight? And this guy's got like a collar tie on the side. He could just use his right arm to drop down and grab the inside of his knee here and then drop his level down and put, you know, his rib or his forehead on his rib right there. And there'd be nothing he could do to stop it because he'd be so wide open. Right. So um, this is just not good wrestling position. You know, this is sort of like from what I've seen so far, other than when he got on top on the back, like that's very high level stuff. But as far as what I see right now, like positional wise, um, he would, and I'm not, I'm not saying this to be mean, but I coached some really, really high level wrestling teams in high school, like high school teams. He wouldn't be first string, like not unless there wasn't somebody in that weight class, just because kids learn quickly on what to look for, to open up stuff. And I'm not saying because I mean, he's currently super strong and he's old, too old to be in high school. I'm just saying based on his position alone, wouldn't be good enough. There we go again, pulling the, 
Wrong way to get an underhook. Watch how far his head goes away. Watch. See that? See how far away his head is? This is nothing. This guy should just be able to literally drop his weight like I showed um, on my video about the proper way to do an inside trip. He should just drop his weight down <clears throat> and pancake him to the mat right there because his, he's so far off balance. And you see this front leg, he's leading that same front leg. So there's nothing, there's nothing over here from him sending him backwards to his back. And that's why nothing came of it. That's why nothing came of that underhook because it wasn't really a good one. Really terrible, actually. <clears throat> Again, I'm not being mean. I'm just showing you what I see. Yeah, these fakes with this, see how far back his elbows are? Like, watch when he does that. When he breaks up, see how he does that? And then right there. See how far back his elbows are? See how far away his arms are? He's got no hand position. And I think this guy's just sort of like kind of trying to hang in there. I mean, obviously, he doesn't want to go to the mat with him <laughs> because he's so tough on the mat. But in terms of the standing stuff, I mean, he's, He's given this guy every opportunity to take it away from him. You should, that guy should really be in on a lot of shots here. A lot of reaching, so much reaching. There goes the same arm, same leg again, right? So I'm not making this stuff up, okay? Watch, look at that. Same arm, same leg. That's the proper way to do it. There, That's the more proper way of doing it. He's more flexing his legs, though. Seems like he's getting sort of frustrated now. Because, and, and so he's getting frustrated because he's not able to open this guy up. And honestly, this guy's not doing much other than being tough, just being tough. That's it. Right. And I mean, that's a big part of wrestling, too. But I mean, it's not like this guy's position is great. He's just not giving him anything. And it looks like he's starting to get frustrated because um, he's not able to. There's no setups here. There's just it's just a lot of pawing. OK, just a lot of pawing at the at the head and no actual setups no movement from side to side but i think he's been told like he needs heavy head pressure because like that's what they usually teach people like in the beginning of wrestling but it doesn't do anything if you're not pushing into the guy so that he has to stop you and then you pull him right so that with inside control or with a snap down we have a video on that actually about how you have to get the guy to push you back and how do you get him to push you back you have to push him first and you have to have inside control in order to push him or else you're going to be the one who goes for a ride okay so just no real no real setups here this is just literally a lot of a lot of a lot of reaching and a lot of hand pulling that's okay that right there i think he's just a natural athlete now. but see this this could have been something great he almost has like a good inside control his head's on the wrong side if his head was over here or forehead to forehead's even better because then the guy doesn't know where you're going he could push into him, okay, and then roll this out and shoot an outside single here. But then instead, he comes back up. I hope that if you learn anything from this, that you that you learn this, okay, which is that. See how his same arm, same leg is forward? Like, this guy ought to be capitalizing on that so bad by, by posting underneath his elbow here, okay? You, you cannot reach with the same arm, same leg here. Because what Ryan's actually stuffing himself. He doesn't know that. But by doing this and him doing that same arm, same leg thing, he's actually sticking himself to the mat. And then what's happening is he doesn't have the ability to just penetrate forward because um, he's not just like letting this hand fall off. Like if he let this hand just fall off and then penetrated forward, then he'd be able to get a good shot from there. But he comes out of his stance. All right. So now he just really wants it. Wow. Okay. So that's actually, this is where I think it shows how athletic he is because he obviously just got frustrated. So now he's just like, forget it. I'm just going to take a shot on this guy. Um, and he still came up around the waist, but watch how he stays in position on the single. Oh, I think his biggest problems are setups because see how, um, even here, see how like he was still able to, you know, maintain decent, body position when he has the single this by the way is like 1960 1950 a uh, way to grab the leg okay this isn't this is this this is so man this is so old school like this guy's leg is so much stronger than either of your hands okay you need your hands clasped you need your forehead and the chest 
um, to put all the weight on his back leg to keep this leg light. And you need to lock your hands behind his kneecap unless you're going to transfer it up to the armpit here, which I don't know if that's what he's trying to do, but if he was trying to do that, he needs to shelf this on this leg, get this leg out of the way. And then that'll allow him to bring it up. But I think, so the guy just kind of fell down. Um, would have been nice to see how he would have reacted to that. So now that they're on the ground, now it's Nikki Ryan's territory here. I don't know anything about this other guy, but it looks like the rest of what they're doing is cheating. Okay, so if I had to grade this, let's say one being JV wrestling and 10 being collegiate wrestling, any collegiate wrestling, no divisions. We're not going to split hairs there. And we're not even going to go further up and say like international wrestling, but we're just saying like high school to collegiate, right? Lowest level high school JV to collegiate wrestling. Okay. Collegiate being a 10 JV being a one. Um, based off what I saw on his ability to move his opponent, his uh, setups, I would say he's like a three and a half. Okay, like high school state champion would be like six and a half to seven. Okay, so what that means is I don't think he would make varsity on any of the teams I coached on. And I don't, and I think even if he did, let's just say that he did because he's super athletic, right? And if he gets on top of you, my guess is you could teach this kid really quickly how to ride, right? And that's a big thing in wrestling. If you can ride, you know, then you might be able to, you know, that guy's going to choose bottom at some point, right? So uh, let's just give him the benefit of the doubt and say that he's varsity. There's no way he's going to state, not in a tough, not in a tough area, nothing. And even if he did, he's not placing. I just don't see it. I don't see him placing in regionals high enough to go to state. There's nothing there. I mean, there's no real setups. So, you know, that whole, when he was talking about wanting to roll with, you know, Tony Ramos, like, um, you know, and, and wrestle with Tony Ramos. I mean, that had to have been a joke, either that or he's crazy or just doesn't know how good is wrestling or how bad is wrestling really is. Um, again, not being mean, I'm just calling it what it is. I'm telling you what you need to hear, not what you want to hear probably. And sure, I'll probably lose some subscribers and the fanboys will come after me. But unless you can tell me how good his wrestling is by showing it to me, then this is where we're at. So... Um, I can do this for other things. Again, um, it's not my intention to be, uh, I'm not picking on him. Um, I've just, I've heard how many people say how great his wrestling is. And like, I just clicked on this randomly and like that arm being where it is, those hands ought to be in front, man. I mean, like any where I'm clicking, there's just bad position. There's no stance here. There's no hands out in front. I mean, it's just, okay. I could continue to go on with us. So I think, I think we are where we're at now this, <laughs> you know, I mean, this kid gets you on the ground. You're a dead man. Okay. Uh, you're, you're dead. So you have to keep that in mind too. Okay. That like, I'm not baiting this guy in any way. Um, he didn't have to fight Tony Ramos on his feet and he didn't, he did the right thing. Um, so the pressure of saying that a Brazilian jiu-jitsu player ought to be a good wrestler is like saying wrestlers ought to be good at Brazilian jiu-jitsu. And until wrestling is mandatory in jiu-jitsu, I don't see the pressure for them to actually get legitimate wrestling coaches to work with them enough to where their wrestling is on par with high level high school wrestling. That's all it really needs to be at. And right now it's very low to very low level high school wrestling. Okay. From what I've seen. And I, and I'm, and I don't know where you're from. Okay. But where I'm from high school kids that are like high level state quality wrestlers um, will have uh, give guys that are, you know, in college a go, they'll get beat up because of the strength thing. But when I was in high school, we used to have division three schools come um, over Christmas. And I, as a senior worked out and junior worked out with all the collegiate wrestlers there and did, did pretty well. The difference was when they got on top, that's when you felt their strength, but wrestling is wrestling. Body position is body position. If you don't have it, you can't open up the game for scoring. Okay. So um, I think that he has a huge uh, potential. I think that his future is bright for him. Uh, If he gets the right wrestling coaches, 
Um, and because he's such a big name, he can. I think he could improve quite a bit. I mean, there's some things that I see that I would love to have coached him because I think there's a lot to work with. I just think right now he doesn't have the fundamentals and that'll come with some time though. He's pretty young still. So um, if you liked it, uh, please comment, um, subscribe to the channel. This isn't what I normally do, but I could do some more of this and I can do it for some collegiate wrestling if you want so that I can point out what I see You know, people are doing as well. Um, and until next time, thanks for watching.